ಮಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನಾ ಭಯ ಚರನಾರಬಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಜಯ ಪರಿಕಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಗ್ರಂಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಂಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಗಿರಿ ಹರಿ ಜೀ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪರಿಕಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಗ್ರಂಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಂಧಾರ್ಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸುಂದರ ಜೀವ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಲೀಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಂ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿಯುಜಾಕಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಾಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಸತ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಶಿವಭಕ್ತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಲೀಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಂ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿಯುಜಾಕಚಾರ್ಯ ಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಾಕಾಕ್ಷಿರ ದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಲೀಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಂ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿಯುಜಾಕಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಸತ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿರಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಠಾಕೋರ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಶಿವ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪನು ಗುರು ವಾರ್ಗ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಶಿವ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಿತಾಯ ಗೋರ್ ಪ್ರೇಮನಂದೇ ಜಯ ನಿತಿಲೀಲ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಓಂ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಶಿವ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ nitya lila of the divine lord and his associates nitya lila pravishta om the shila govinda maharaj um uh, jokingly told us uh, one time that someone had used that expression uh, regarding him jain tilila prashna om shiva bhakti sundar govinda dev goswami mars or something similar to that but this nitya lila and he said but i have not gone to my nitya lila <laughs> so uh govinda mars was very had a very uh um pronounced sense of humor and uh Shila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj remarked in one letter to him that he, about an article that he wrote that he will be known as a great transcendental humorist and i'm sure that has come come to pass come to be known but for us this expression today we can we are saying it as it's meant to be said but it's very heavy for us to uh, use that expression today when our dear friend guardian master uh point the way for us through their preaching through their practices they are in a sense in some ways preparing us for this day but nothing uh has prepared me for this day 
Maybe I thought I was prepared, but now the day is here. And uh, I feel uh, very uh, out of place, very um, out of sorts, and very unprepared. Divine Grace Shula Govinda Maharaj was uh, gracious, merciful, uh, helpful in every way possible, in every way that one could expect and in every way which is unexpected. In his um, relationship with, with me and with, with everyone that we saw him dealing with. And there are many things uh, that we can say and that will be said about the disappearance of our guardian the disappearance of the Guru, the disappearance of the Acharya. Um, and, but I, I'm not going to speak so much uh, in a philosophical way about the, this event. More in a, uh, my, something uh, of a personal personal expression. Srila Govinda Maharaj gave so much hope to me and again when I I know that most of what I say is for everyone, everyone that, that came in touch with him and um, he gave uh, prospect for, he showed that there's prospect for everyone to have the shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, to have a relationship with the pure devotee of the Lord, which is so um, rare, very rare in this world. One time, Novena Maharaj was, I was talking with him about something, I don't remember what it was, but I remember that I, I said to him, Maharaj, that someone of your stature, a Vaishnava like yourself, that he, he knows my name. That's inconceivable to me. Srila Sridharmaj used the expression, the finite chasing the infinite, going after the infinite. What audacity. When, when uh, Krishna spoke with Arjuna, Arjuna mentioned that he pointed to their friendly relationship, that I have, uh, so many times we have spent together that we have slept in the same bed together. We have uh, eaten at the same table or something. I don't remember exactly, but that, that sort of thing. 
Krishna was the chariot driver of Arjuna. Chariot driver is the uh, lower position, the assistant to the charioteer, assistant to the warrior, Arjuna the warrior, Krishna the chariot driver. So, the transcendental personality, the great personalities, reveal them what themselves, show themselves to us in ways that make them accessible to us. Otherwise, there would be no possibility for someone like myself to have any association with them. Without the association, then what is the chance for progress? To see the behavior of the uh, pure devotee, to hear his talks, to hear his direction, his instruction. These are things that we can find in, our, in the books and other places, but uh, they are also, uh, there's so much value uh, when they are coming in this personal way, directly, uh, guru to disciple, uh, pure devotee to the fallen soul, and so forth. As in the guru-disciple relationship, the, um, it is the active voice of Krishna. The passive voice uh, we can find in the, in the books and other instructions. Today we are fortunate with many uh, tapes, recordings, audio and video recordings of our acharyas. And these are very helpful. And but in in the Bhagavat, in the Bhagavatam, there is a mention there of the the value of the person Bhagavat and the Bhagavat as it appears, as he appears in the scripture. Both are Bhagavat. Srila Sridharmaj explained the necessity of the person Bhagavat who is actively instructing us and guiding us. So that when we, we may read the book, we may do, hear many instructions and misinterpret, misunderstand and uh, need correction. So I was very fortunate. On many occasions as divine grace corrected me. And on more than one occasion I expressed my desire, Maharaj, if you want anything, you please ask me. Don't be shy to ask me. Mm. And, uh, and he said, Maharaj, I am not shy. told me something else, uh, which I, I remember so well. Uh, Sri Govinda Maharaj said to me, uh, Maharaj, I'm always with you. So if I had any anxiety, in the time since Srila Sridhar Maharaj's 
passing away. The anxiety was that one. And my uh, acting in a way that is satisfactory in the eyes of Srila Govinda Maharaj. He knew Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj initiating Guru. He knew she was Sridhar Maharaj. My Sanyas Guru, I could, who I consider also as Shiksha Guru. He, and he knew them more than me, better than me. And my fortune is that I think Govinda Maharaj knew me. And uh, as he said, he was not shy, so from time to time uh, he uh, took the opportunity to point me in the right direction when I was going in the wrong direction. But those words, Maharaj, I am always with you, are not uh, for me alone, or not only for me, of course. But and those who are following his direction, and he is with you, who has uh, accepted him as their Guru, who has accepted him as their guide, who has accepted him as the Acharya, who has accepted him as the successor of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. Then you can be sure he is always with you. He is always with us. So there, these are uh, uh, this is a statement of encouragement from his side, Maharaj, I am always with you. But uh, with that is the heavy responsibility uh, the the uh, knowledge that he's really transmitting with that statement, at least one way I, I take it. And it's assuring, it's an assurance when he says that. But my concern is that I am always with him. Now we, we think, we observe his disappearance, his passing away, that he has left our, our vision, but we will always also think and always remember that he is always Overhead, as Shiva Shiva Maharaj said, like the sun, always overhead, watching over us. And I, I recall on the, some things on the disappearance of Shiva Shiva Maharaj. One uh, 
great fortune I, I had was many uh, questions of different types, philosophical of course, but also more sort of personal questions. How to, what, what, I, what I should think about some particular thing, how I should view something, how I should think about some particular thing uh, regarding our mission, regarding our preaching, regarding dealing with other devotees and so forth. Um, many, many things that puzzled me, that uh, confounded me, um, but I could approach Srila Govinda Maharaj and put these questions to him. And at least up until now, I can say that it was my great fortune that all the important questions that I had. And I was able to put to him and hear his response, hear his answer to those questions. And I can believe in his answer because He is someone who it is easy to accept. And when he gives an answer to something, well, then it is, there's, it's sufficient. <laughs> there's nothing lacking there. Um, what is the question? He understands the question. And what is the answer? He knows the answer. And that's the answer he's giving. And without duplicity, without self-interest or any sort of personal motivation, but for the good of all, for the good of the person asking the question and for the good of any who are fortunate enough to hear the answer. And in that sense, I can say <laughs> that I was not shy. <laughs> uh, and, and more than once I had to preface my question with, Maharaj, this may be a bad question, but I have to ask. <laughs> Something like that. And, but he never... Uh, chastise me from that. Maybe, actually, maybe once in an indirect way. One time, after uh, speaking with us a little bit, he was um, showing that he was not feeling so well and a little reluctant to speak. And I asked him, It was a genuine question from my part. I preface, preface, preface this with that. But I asked him, Maharaj, is there anything that we have not asked that you want to tell us? <laughs> I, I was thinking, actually, as I'm saying right now, uh, all the important questions that I've, I've wanted to ask I feel like I've, I've asked and he's answered. And, and must be others, there must be others also, also feeling like myself. Oh, he has answered many questions. Many people are asking questions and he is answering many questions. So I was thinking about maybe there's something he would like to tell us, but no one has asked him. <laughs> but he showed that he seemed to think that I, I was not uh, being very genuine and just asking like to uh, 
pick up a lull in the conversation or something. I, mean, I don't recall at the moment what he said, but it, he was sort of uh, uh, indirectly saying that that was a foolish question. <laughs> this was not a good question, something like that. So. That was, that's the only time I recall that he had uh, that sort of reaction. Uh, we were very fortunate that so many, so much time he spent with us answering our questions, giving direction, showing by his own example. So what I also hinted at previously, was after Srila Siddhar Maharaj's passing away, Govinda Maharaj showed us what we should do now. Govinda Maharaj said it directly and showed in everything he did that the the thing to do is to do what we've been doing, but with full resolve, full faith, and with redoubled effort. When Srila Siddhar Maharaj passed away, his mission was small. He had one temple, his main mat, his home in Navadvip Dan. And the beginning of a, a center in uh, Kolkata. And when he passed away, he had a branch in London and he had a branch in New York. A branch of his mat, Chaitanya Saraswan mat. Now there are so many branches because she was Govinda Maharaj. From that moment, never paused, never hesitated, um, but very enthusiastically um, pushed the mission of Srila Siddha Maharaj all over the world. Spread the teachings of Srila Siddha Maharaj, explained the Siddhanta of Srila Siddha Maharaj, showed the um, I've, I've heard many times devotees talk about someone's mood, this acharya has this mood, this acharya a different mood, something like that. That is, that topic is beyond me to say what is the mood. But there are some very uh, fine points and in, in the understanding that Srila Siddhar Maharaj had of the Vaishnava Siddhanta, Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta. And everyone knows how famous he was for that. That my Guru Maharaj, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, appreciated that so much. So much and he directed us, his disciples. And after his disappearance, Swami Maharaj's disappearance, if you want to know the Siddhanta, if you want to understand the philosophy of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, of Krishna consciousness, he didn't mention anyone's name, only one name. And you go to my god brother, Srila Bhakti Vakat Shuradev Goswami Maharaj. 
So he understood that, that here's in Srila Sridhar someone who understands inside and out the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. As preached and practiced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and as uh, delineated by Srila Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And Srila Sridhar Maharaj's godbrothers knew that also. Not just my guru Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, but all of the um, important members of Gaudiya Mat, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's uh, mission, recognized and appreciated the unique quality of Srila Sridharmar. And Srila Sridharmar said that often after Srila Saraswati Thakur would speak, that they, the God brothers, would gather with him, with Srila Sridharmar, and ask him to explain what was said. And after Srila Saraswati Thakur's disappearance, that same thing continued. At the time of his disappearance, he showed that there was a special quality of Srila Sridhar Maharaj that everyone should recognize that uh, who uh, is, will carry the, uh, the Rupa Nuga Siddhanta. That is, Srila Sridhar Maharaj will do that. Recognize that. And they did. They said it, not Srila Sridhar Maharaj. They said this about Srila Sridhar Maharaj. They recognized. Oh, when Saraswati Thakur asked him to chant Sri Rupa Manjari Pada, he was giving entrance. He showed us that he had given entrance to, of Srila Sridhar Maharaj into the Rupa Nuga Sampradaya. And when Srila Govinda Maharaj began preaching extensively in, in the, in, outside of India after the disappearance of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, then those of us who had come to depend upon Srila Sridhar Maharaj's explanation of Krishna consciousness were easily and naturally transitioned to uh, seek that sort of understanding from Srila Govinda Maharaj. And those of us who did that uh, felt fully satisfied. Felt no uh, interest, no need, no interest, um, not a scintilla, not the smallest uh, deficiency that would cause us to think, oh, we, sh we should go someplace else. We should continue our search somewhere else. That idea never arose. And why? Because Srila, Shura, Srila Govinda Maharaj carried everything of the teachings of Srila Shura Maharaj what as the current passed so naturally from Srila Saraswati Thakur to Srila Sridhar Maharaj, it passed with similar ease to Srila Govinda Maharaj. And those who were fortunate enough to recognize that, uh, know that with, with, with all their hearts.
And then I can say, because I've spoken with my God brothers, <laughs> and they have confirmed this over and over and over and over again. Everyone, everyone knows. Everyone knows. I'm going to go to Mars. I think his first trip to the United States. Um, I, I had a question about Srila uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur's worship of the deities Gorga Dadhar. And I asked Govinda Maharaj about that. And uh, to be brutally honest, I wondered if he would be able to um, satisfy me with his answer. I, I, I thought it was the type of question that Srila Sridhar Maharaj would reply to and I would, I would certainly be satisfied, no question. And he would be able to respond to that and easily uh, he could do that. And Govinda Maharaj uh, heard my question. We, we were at the house of um, Shruta Shravra Prabhu and Sanatani Devi. And uh, we, uh, they had invited him to go there for some prasadam to visit their house. And uh, I think it was, I think, Golden Maharaj maybe didn't think it was quite the place or the time or something to, for that, that sort of question. But the next day in, in, in his class, the whole class, was to that point. And, I, I, and he mentioned that kind of Gary Myers, he had some question. He said, not a question, actually, some searching. And that's and, and, and that's what I thought also. Yes, I'm searching for something. <laughs> and uh, his answer was uh, so deep and so broad and so uh, of such quality that uh, I, I thought that it was a, a, a bit of an esoteric question. So some answer, of course, I expected, but far beyond what I expected, far, far beyond. And at that moment, I was convinced. <laughs> what Srila Sridhar Maharaj had, that is now with Govinda Maharaj. And after the class, I asked Maharaj, Maharaj, may I say something? Uh, Govinda Maharaj said, yes, what do you want to say? And I told him what I'm saying now. That I, I thought that sort of answer to that question that you gave, I never expected to hear it after Srila Sridhar Maharaj's disappearance. But now I've heard it from you. And that was not, that, came, that sort of thing became known to us, not the exception to the rule, it was the rule. What Govinda Maharaj had to say on any topic, we could be confident there was nothing more to say. But what he gave, that was sufficient. And it was scriptural, it was realized, and it was in line with the Siddhanta of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. 
and it as good, if not better, as Srila Siddhar Maharaj saying, saying it himself. When I say things, I generally like to prove them. And I'm saying something which I can't prove. It is my belief, my firm belief. But those of you who <laughs> hear me, you must believe this also. Otherwise, I think you will not take an interest in what I'm saying. So I agree with you, and I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> it's unanimous. <laughs> many, many times over the years, many, many times, I've heard sort of lamentation, oh, if only I had gotten more chance during the time of Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada, oh, if only I'd taken initiation then, oh, only if I'd, whatever, done something different than, than they had done. And uh, not so much, but a little bit, sometimes I heard that also about Srila Sridhar Maharaj, oh, I missed my chance to be initiated by him or something. But my response to that was that the, the chance is still here. You have the chance, that same chance you have with Srila Govinda Maharaj. There's no uh, <laughs> There's no reduction in any way, no less opportunity today than yesterday, no less today, this year than last, or during the time of one of these acharyas or the other. That time is present now. So that is our experience with Srila Govinda Maharaj, that those of us who also had the chance to see the preaching of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj and to have some association with him, to have some service to his divine grace, who had some connection with Srila Sridhar Maharaj and some opportunity to serve his divine grace and to hear his preaching and to hear from him, take some direction from him. We saw everything fully present in Srila Govinda Maharaj. No, uh, in some sense, uh, everything and more. What once, one time Srila Sridhar Maharaj said about Srila Govinda Maharaj, that in some ways he is more than me. Certainly one of those ways is that Srila Govinda Maharaj traveled all over the world preaching the Siddhanta of Chaitanya Saraswati. Srila Siddhar Maharaj sometimes remarked that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati had asked him to go to England but he could not go. But uh, now so many Western people were coming to his ashram to hear from him there. He could not go to the West, but the West has come to him. But Srila Govinda Maharaj, you can say, fulfilled that interest of Srila Srila Maharaj. Srila Srila Maharaj's interest to preach to the West, Govinda Maharaj fulfilled that.
So we are supposed to recognize the auspiciousness of the Tirobhav of His Divine Grace. Uh, <laughs> I recognize it. But it is a very sad time for me. And it is very sad for all of us, I'm sure, no doubt. To celebrate his disappearance, I'm not ready for that. Maybe sometime soon. And one of, one of those questions that uh, I told you I ask every was not shy to ask the question. One time I asked him, because I heard him say that he did, after the disappearance of Srila Sridhar he did not cry. I thought, how is it possible he did not cry? I thought there's very, something mysterious about that. If that's so, then I couldn't comprehend it. I couldn't understand it. So I asked him one time, Lord, as you said, that after the disappearance of Srila Sridhar that you did not cry. He said, publicly. <laughs> I don't have so much self-control so much whatever it is, I don't know what it is, so much uh, good sense or something. We are supposed to see because he is showing himself in some pastimes in this world that, uh, that he is not also in that eternal Leela with the Lord and his devotees. For me, I'm thinking that they are going on simultaneously. Now I have to think in another way. We were told that in this world, the Srila Sridharmaras gave some example like this, that as we have different representations of the divine world, of divinity within this world, to help us to connect with that world, in a sort of theoretical way. It's a more a sort of theoretical way. Here's the deity. This is the form of Krishna. Oh, then we can get some idea. Oh, then 
This is Krishna's form that he is showing in the spiritual world. And in the spiritual world, where there is no mundanity, then for them, the, 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 only the conception of the demon is apparent. There's no real demon, but only like a theoretical idea of the demon or the material world. So the pastimes of the Vaishnava manifest and unmanifest, manifest within our purview of our senses, unmanifest beyond the purview of our senses. But both are nityalila, both are eternally existing. Then Perhaps if we are to accept this idea that in separate, the Lord, feeling so much separation for his devotee, has called him to join in his pastimes, then the devotee is going there for that Rila to participate in that Leela. And the uh, other side of that is uh, where we s saw him previously in our front, now he is with us in spirit. That, that devotee who we talked with, who guided us, who instructed us, etc., who came to visit our mat, who came to visit us, who allowed us to visit with him. Now he is with us in this other way. As Srila Govindamara said, I am always with you. And he is uh, with us the same but different. And there's one more thing I want to say. At any rate, so if we are wise, we will follow Governor Maharaj's example and after the disappearance of his guru that he uh, continued his, the mission of his guru in a bigger way broader way, more expansive way, distributed that siddhanta to others, uh, led the way, showed the way to doing that, and uh, with much enthusiasm, with very uh, great uh, humor, very jolly way, a very friendly way, uh, in a way that uh, very effective.
affectionate way. Which meant that whenever we were in his presence, that we were always very happy. <laughs> last, last time I was in India, he asked about his daughter. When, he's, when he says that to me, he means Leo Sundari Devi. And I told him something. I said, oh, she's doing very well. She's very dedicated to serving you and your mission, Maharaj, and et cetera. And I said, and she is always happy. He said, oh, that's very good. Very important that she is happy. <laughs> that was our experience with Govinda. He was, always made us happy. And, uh, if we are with him, our happiness will always be. And we must also mention his uh, he uh, when I I talked about his taking Shula. Shri Maharaj's Siddhanta all over the world, preaching of Chaitanya Saraswati all over the world. That was a remarkable, remarkable thing. In his humility and with out of respect, regard, and admiration for Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Govinda Maharaj said that he, Swami Maharaj, has blasted a tunnel through the mountain of Maya. And that I am easily passing through that tunnel. Govinda Maharaj easily passing through that tunnel. I will give credit to Shiva Prabhupada and Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj that he had already done the heavy lifting, so to speak. Now Govinda Maharaj is going to the West, going throughout the world, not just the West, going all over the world, and continuing what, what had been begun. And when I mentioned earlier that um, Govinda Maharaj had fulfilled that interest of Srila Sharamaraj to preach to the Western world and to preach to people all over the world. Govinda Maharaj fulfilled that interest, fulfilled that desire of Srila Sharamaraj. And uh, I caught myself just before saying that he had completed that. He had he did that work. He did his job fully. And he fulfilled that. Still, there is much to do. And he has left that for us. And he has named his successor, Nabadweep, uh, during his celebration of his appearance. Srila uh, Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Maharaj. And we fully expect that we will, Acharya Maharaj is a, a dynamo and uh, has much, much faith, full faith, and Srila Govinda Maharaj. He has um, a, 
He has already shown something of his capacity. When Govinda Maharaj made the announcement, he said simply, you can see all of this, waving his hand, all of so many things, so many constructions and uh, arrangements for the service of the devotees, for the care and maintenance of the devotees, the deities, the mission, the mat, uh, everything. The Chari Maharaj has done that. And you see what he has done. <laughs> he has done so much. So, we expect that uh, with our help and uh, so forth, we can give our support to him, Sri Padacharya Maharaj, Sri Acharya Maharaj. Um, many, many more things uh, will come to glorify uh, Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat. When Srila Siddhar Maharaj planted the flag uh, of his mat, Chaitanya Saraswat mat, and gave the name Chaitanya Saraswat mat, and wrote his shloka describing the glories of that mat. Um, that mat was more or less uh, theoretical, more or less a mental picture or a conscious existing in the conscious world, but not showing itself in, uh, in this world. And gradually, very slowly, gradually, with the help of his god-brothers, and uh, particularly with the help of Srila Govinda Maharaj, then that concept began to show itself uh, as the mat that we came to know, came to see. And Govinda Maharaj, so that, but that, that mat existed in Navadvip, as I mentioned earlier, when he, when he passed away, it was not so expansive, his mission. But Srila Govinda Maharaj did expand it uh, beyond uh, our <laughs> imagination, beyond my imagination. I, I was, be, because I, I knew Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Srila Sridhar Maharaj's disinterest in doing that himself. I did, not, I did not expect his foremost, most prominent dear disciple would show something very different. But he did. Govinda Maharaj showed a, a great interest to ex expand the boundaries of the Mat and to the point where he would sometimes remark the sun never sets on Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. So now that is the situation. The sun never sets on Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. So with great uh, energy and uh, uh, co-opting um, the support of uh, many, his friends, uh, followers of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, then this uh, reality that as we have come to see it today, where there are so many mats, so many temples, so many ashrams all over the world, so many books, unbelievable number of books printed with the uh, 
mud, uh, imprimatur. And now we want we hope that Srila Charya Maharaj will continue that uh, that work with our help, with our support. Uh, I'm very confident that he will do it, actually. So should not hesitate in giving him that help and that support. Jais Parikar Shri Shri Guru Granga Shri Shri Gandharva Govinda Sundara Ju Ki Jai. Jais Parikar Shri Shri Guru Granga Shri Shri Gandharva Kiri Hari Ju Ki Jai. Jai Nitili Vishnu Pravishta Om Shiva Bhakti Rak and Shiva Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosami Maharaj Tirubhav Maham Mahotsava Ki Jai. Jai Natalila Vishnu Om Paramahansa Parijakacharya Shubhakti Rakar Shira Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Natalila Vishnu Om Paramahansa Shubhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Goswami Maharaj Bhagavan Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Shri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Jai Nityalila Vishnu Om Paramahansa Shila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Namacharya Shila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Agvaita Gradhar Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gop Gopinath Shamakund Radha Kund Giri Govardhan Ki Jai. Ganga Mai Ki Jai. Jamuna Mai Ki Jai. Vrindal Natur Dham Ki Jai. Maya Pur Navadi Gaon Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Ki Jai. Jai Shri Chitanya Saraswat Mat Navadi Dham Ki Jai. Shri Chitanya Saraswat Muo Mat Navadi Dham Ki Jai. Jai, all the branches of Shri Chitanya Saraswat Mat worldwide Ki Jai. All the devotees worldwide Ki Jai. Jai Shri Chitanya Saraswat Mat New York, New Jersey branch ki jai. Jai. Jai Nittai Gaur Primanande Haribo. Gaur Haribo. 